Okay, so before we put the new motherboard in, I guess we should investigate um, investigate how to put the CPU on, put the fan on, and all that. So I'll just put the lid back on this computer. All right. So this is a new motherboard, and it was very nice for the shop owner where I got this motherboard and CPU from. For me to for them to put the CPU on the motherboard already, and the reason why they decided to do that was because we weren't sure whether the CPU the CPU could be supported by this motherboard. Okay, and sometimes what happens is if the motherboard is not as new as the CPU, it might require a BIOS update. A BIOS update, which could only be done if it had a CPU in there. So you would need to put in an older CPU with the motherboard, turn it on, update the BIOS of the motherboard, which I guess you can think of as the firmware or whatever it is. And then you put the CPU on, the new CPU on, and then it'll work. Okay, but what happened at the shop was they put the CPU on the motherboard, see if it'll boot, and it did. So it does not need a newer BIOS. So because of that, the CPU is already on the motherboard. Okay, so the motherboard comes with a SATA cable, SATA cable for the hard drive. So I guess the first thing we're gonna do is plug the fan in. Okay, it shouldn't be too hard because the CPU is already on there. There's your motherboard, brand new, brand new motherboard. Okay, and we want the fan on there. Okay, so where's the fan? The fan's over here. Inside the CPU box. Alright, so there's the box for the fan. Bit hard to open. Alright, and you can see it already comes with thermal paste. So I probably should not have touched that. Anyway, it already comes with a bit of paste. Okay, so now we're just going to put it on the CPU and obviously this cable needs to be plugged into I guess this slot right here this way Okay, it's got to go through the motherboard. They all pushed in. So it even says CPU fan here. There it is, CPU fan is plugged in. All right. CPU fan is in, uh, I guess put the RAM in, so where 
here is my new ring. Turns out there's no cutting required. Let's open it up. DDR4 RAM, which suits this motherboard. Okay, you can see it says DDR4. So make sure the shorter side matches the shorter side here. Push it in. So already I put it in the wrong side. How ridiculous. Seems pretty even. All pushed in. Both memory slots, right, and it's all clicked in. So now we can try and put this motherboard on inside the case. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.